What is going on, guys? My name is Budokrai, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Day 13, one day before the horde. And there's the morning chime, so it is safe for us to head out and actually start working on the base. So I'm pretty much just going to take today to just work on the base, I feel like. I want to use the, the I want to use the clock tower as my horde base just because I don't know any other POI around here that I could use as a horde base to be honest. Um so I think that is going to be the most viable option for me, but uh if that's going to be my horde base, I do have to do a lot of work to it. And we got our helmet mod all ready for us to put into our helmet here. Uh so can I actually throw you on? I can. So perfect. So let me go ahead and modify you throw you onto there there we go and now do i have a helmet light i do oh this this makes life so much better actually are you no you don't have anything behind you do you no you don't okay all right so like i said i do want to start crafting the horde base up a little bit um so i am gonna grab all of my cobblestone and my wood and stuff like that um i'm gonna take my concrete as well uh I don't have a lot of it. I, I mean, it, it, it is what I have. So um, I will gladly take you. And hopefully we can, you know, secure parts of the base that are going to take the most amount of damage as well. Um, but I don't think I need anything else really from here, I think. I uh, I don't know. How, how am I looking? A little bit hungry. Okay. Uh, I do have eggs and I do have some meat. So let's go over to our fire pit here. And craft yourself some some bacon and eggs. Nice. And I also did realize I do have a lot of uh, of perk points to play around with. Um, so I can get second uh second one of of lucky looter. So I'm gonna leave that for now. I think I'm just gonna you know upgrade. The oh, actually, no. I'm gonna do daring adventurer because this is super OP to be honest. Because if this allows me to get double wards for from the trader. Um, so that's gonna be fantastic, honestly. So I think I'm gonna do Daring Adventurer. Um, so I'm gonna do you. What do I need for the last level? I need eight levels. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna pump it into Intellect. I think that's the... I think that is, uh, the right move there. Because if I get three more levels, which I should get from the Horde Knight, I should be able to get the last level, uh, last level of Daring Adventurer, which will allow me to pick two rewards for doing the jobs. And... Quite frankly, the, the 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 traders in this are really OP to have because they give you some really good stuff pretty early on. So let me go ahead and munch those down, uh, and then I guess we can just head towards the to the horde base. We do have a fair bit of zombies around, so let me go ahead and take care of them first before we head down to the uh, to the horde base location. Let me go ahead and womp you down there, bud. And the uh, I still don't have a name for you yet, so I don't really know what to call you you, you kind of look like a like a stefan or something so i'm gonna call you stefan <laughs> uh there you go god stefan <laughs> i just love the, the the decapitation and and uh just the body parts just mangled because his face his eyes pop out of the head when you do that. uh it gets me every time oh god um do i have any arrows on me i do okay perfect you definitely didn't see me right or right, i guess you're, you're i guess you're crawling towards me so i'm guessing you did see me but an, an arrow to the... Oh, God. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. How did I miss? How did I freaking miss that? Okay. You definitely see me. You're crawling towards me. Oh, right in the face, though. God, I hate the... Uh, just the, the look of the of the spiders, man. They, they just look so terrifying. All right. There is another zombie over here that we have to take care of. So don't mind me. Just going to put you out of your misery. You're a feral. Um, all right. You're a feral. Oh! All right. Wasn't expecting that to hit me. Oh, you're still not dead. Um... Oh gosh. Um Oh. Oh, that's not that's not good. Why is the the music playing? Are you in here? Hello? Oh, this looks like a big POI to be honest. Um Are you in here? What? They must be stuck in this building here, I think. They're they're they are trying to get their way through here. So actually, you know what? Oh, are you a copy boy? No, you're just you're just a gnat. So let me go ahead and uh, help you guys out real quick. How's it going, fellas? Uh, oh, there's a lot of you. All right. Oh, there is a ton of you. Oh my god, what did I do? What did I just wake up? This must be a wandering horror that got stuck inside the buildings. I think. 
Um, oh gosh. Okay. All right. Nothing the sledgehammer can't handle. As long as it doesn't break on me, we should be okay. All right. Easy as that. Just a pile. Just a pile of dead zombies. <laughs> That's why the sledgehammer is so good early game. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Um. Hi. Why did you wake up? That's a lot. <laughs> that is a fair amount of zombies. I definitely uh, went in the wrong way to, into this POI. There was definitely a longer way to get in, but you know what? Here we go again. The sledgehammer, man. The sledgehammer is just it's way too good. But look at this. Um, all right. A large ammo pile. We got a mediumized uh, medical pile there. We have popping pills, a cracker book, and a shotgun messiah crate. Ooh. And we also have a, a hardened chest here. That is that is locked, so we are, we are going to have to try to pick that open. Um, I think I'm going to try to leave that for now, I think. I think I'll leave that for now. And actually, this might not be a terrible horde base. If we're being quite honest, this might not be a terrible horde base. Because I can if I can sit up there and make an easy way for uh, zombies to get up top, I can sit up top there and have access to the roof in case of, like, birds that come down. You know what? I think I'm going to make this into my horde base. I, I, I think this actually might be uh, a good POI for it. Because we have a really high rooftop as well. We can, we can make a pretty good horde base out of this, I, I think. I do see a zombie in the corner, though. So I am going to try to take you out without you seeing me. <laughs> I just decapitated you with a goddamn arrow, man. Um, unfortunately, that is not working. Um... Okay, I think change of plans. I think we're going to change this into our horde base. So, first things first, I am going to have to try to clear it out. So, let's just go ahead and, and take out all the zombies that are here. You didn't go down, but I did take off your hand. So, there you go. You can have your hand back there. It's just right underneath your torso. Ooh. Oh, uh, I thought that was an air drive. I got really excited there for a second. Um, All right. Yeah, you know what? I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to go through this entire PY. See, I don't know. The only issue is here that I have with this is I don't know if zombies are going to try to break through. Oh, God. I don't know if zombies are going to try to break through, like, the doors and stuff like that. So I am going to try to make myself uh, maybe a, a little safe box here. So maybe I can, like, take out, like, the, the flooring here. I don't know how tough this is. I'm, I'm guessing it's concrete. It is concrete. So that might be bad. Or, or at least, if, is, there, is, there, is there staircases that's going up to here? Um, there is not. Okay. There is a rooftop access here, which is good. Uh, that means I can have easy access to put up a, uh, put up some turrets and stuff. Okay. That might not be bad at all. No. Oh, God. Hi. Hi, hi there, bud. Goodbye there, bud. Ooh, there is a Yeti there. Let me go ahead and, uh, try to sneak attack him. No, not just punch the air. Arlene kind of woke up from that, but that's fine. Uh, not quite the, uh, not quite. Oh. All right, see you later. <laughs> uh, ooh, you tried to try to pre-hit me there, didn't you? All right, that's what the zombies do, actually. They do actually try to anticipate your movement and stuff like that. So that guy tried to uh, tried to smack me. Ooh, that's a that's a spider boy. How you doing there, bud? You want me to? Uh... Oh, there's actually a lot of zombies up here. Actually, let me go ahead and take you down. Your head's bobbing a little bit. There you go. Just try to take out these guys as easy as possible. There we go. Uh, Arlene is still probably going to try to get up to me. Uh, oh, damn it. Okay. Well, no no point of being sneaky now because they know exactly where I am. Let me go ahead right in the back of the head of Arlene and, and Nancy. All right. Easy as that. So this actually must be the, the proper way into the POI. So that shouldn't be an issue, really. So let me go ahead and sneak attack you guys. Let me get right in the noggin. Oh, right at the top of the head. And you dropped me a nice loot bag. Can I get you right in the dick? Oh, right. Oh, <laughs> uh, right, right in the guy's nards. Oh, hi. I, I, how you doing there, bud? Here. Goodbye. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. Oh, God. Oh, so unfortunate. So unfortunate for you. <laughs> uh, all right, let me see what's inside of the loot bag here. Um, a blood bag, pretty much useless. Some shotgun shells and some a brass trophy, which is going to be good for me. That's fine. Give me all of you. Someone woke up. Oh, oh, what's up, Mo? Goodbye, Mo. <laughs> Um, all right, so these are the private rooms, it looks like. Uh, no one inside of you. Arlene is probably going to try to bash our way through here, so that's fine. Um, any zombies here? Oh, we have two of them. Oh, where did you come from? 
No idea where you came from, bud, but that's fine. Let me just put you down there. Uh, all right, we got two big boys here, which is, uh, which is, okay. Arlene? Is she on the roof? I think she's on the roof. Ah, Arlene got made her, made her way all the way from the top of the roof down to me. That's really good, uh, uh zombie tracking. So that's fantastic. But let me go ahead and put you down. Ooh. Hello? Zombie? Are you coming up the stairs? You are coming up the stairs. Hello. Hello, uh, Nancy. Goodbye, Nancy. And there is a level up for us. So that's going to be good for us. So we can put it into Daring Adventurer. Uh, or sorry, into, into Intellect. Oh, oh, man. You know what? You know what? That's, uh, that is a, that is a way to go. But hello. Let me put you down there. Thank you. All right. What's inside this loot bag? Ooh. Some beers. Uh, a nice, uh, wrench there. That's going to be good for tearing down some things later on. Uh, oh, God. Oh, man. Are you, are you, uh, you getting ready for the night, lady? Well, too bad. <laughs> All right. What do we got in here? Purple tank top. Uh, cool. What do I have actually on? I have a white tank top. I kind of like the purple better so i'm gonna go ahead and modify you take you out and actually i think you're actually better you are okay perfect so let me go ahead and take you and throw you onto this one let me go to modify you and throw you there just so i get my my inventory slot back and scrap you and i think i'm just gonna scrap you for the iron i think i think that's a better uh better thing for me anyway uh but other than that i think that's the py cleared all right it is getting quite uh gloomy outside thank god i actually have my my helmet light mod so that's good um i also i think it's gonna be an easier access into the horde base if i just make a ladder straight up to there and that way uh i can get in and out pretty freaking easily so that's gonna be good for me but let me go ahead and quickly loot through this place before i start constructing the horde base i know it's going against what i said and what i need to do but you know what? it's fine Oh, and you're gonna open up all the doors, aren't you? Nice. So as for this base, I think what I want to do, because if I make it, if I make the zombies try to come up here, right, and they start from here and go up, I think what I can do is I can make that kind of like a, a safety box, right, and have two uh, walkways for the zombies to go down, and that way I can stay up there and then knock them down when I, if I need to. So if I just do this really quickly, if I change these two stairs, right? Uh, where are the stairs? All right, so if I go into the stairs, right? And I go to rotate them like this. And I just put these all along the way here. Just so it's easy for the zombies to kind of get up and they won't get stuck. So if I do that, where's the center here? Uh, right here. So this is the center block. So if I take that, right? And I make this one a full block. If I just do this. So the zombies will come up, right? They'll come up here and they'll start kind of jumping up here. Okay, actually, you know what I want to do? If I make a central pillar here, right? So if I go back to my shapes and I go to the cube. So if I'm in the center here, and if I make a three by three, if I take all of you and I make a three by three. See, I could use you as well. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if that's going to work. Because if I use a staircase here, and I make a staircase going up like this on either side, maybe? Um, I don't, I don't know. All right, if I do that, let me, let me just, I'm just going to place down. Oh, that's not right. Uh, I'm just going to place down everything. I just want to see if that is going to work for me. So if I do that, I should probably get rid of you, to be honest. You are a natural, re like, light source, but I don't know if that's going to be good. So let me go ahead and actually take you out. Let me go ahead and here. Hopefully this doesn't collapse on me because that would be a bad time for me. Uh, do I have my wrench on me? I think I know I do. There we go. Can I actually tear you down? I can. Okay. Uh, I wonder if this is going to collapse the whole thing. Oh, God. I hope not. Okay. We're good. A little bit of lag there. So hopefully nothing of the building actually collapsed. That shouldn't be any, like, that shouldn't be uh, a structural integrity thing, but... Who knows with this update? I have no idea. Gosh, I have I have no idea. And eventually, I'm probably going to take out, like, these balconies here. I'm just going to, you know... Oh, God. Well, that's going to be... No, because the, the structural integrity is from these pillars here. So that shouldn't be an issue. If I go... If I use... Hmm, what do I want to use here? I could use a ramp. Um, Let me take it off of basic. What do we actually have? What will zombies use as a pathing method? See, we could use the wedge narrow tips. That could work for us, actually. That could be a possibility. Or I can use the wedge 
triangle tip there. Mm, no, because I kind of want to have a space in the middle because I want something to kind of angle down. That way, if I smack them and they go all goopy and stuff, they'll actually fall down the ramp. If I go like that, are you going to use... Is that going to work as a as a viable path for the zombies? See, this is going to be something that I need to test, actually. So... Oh god, I don't know. Cause if I if I I can go I can cross this uh, finally actually. So if I put you like this, and I can I snag you onto like that? No. Okay, never mind then. I'm now just realizing that this actually might be too far for the the structural uh, integrity to hold up. And I think I'm gonna move this uh, closer to that spot there. I think this whole like section right here is where I'm gonna be standing. So I think. I'm going to tear down all of these railings and stuff. I know that's going to be... Uh, it's going to take me a long time to actually do it, but I think it's going to be worth it. Plus, I want my board base to actually look pretty cool. Plus, it also gives me a little bit more room to play with the stairs as well. Uh, I am wet because the windows are open up there. That's not good. Uh, I'm also very over-encumbered. I should probably make myself a little storage container. Let me go ahead and make a secure storage container really quickly. Uh, like that. Where'd you go? There you are. Uh, yeah, let me plop it down in here. I think this actually might be the way I get up there. So if I put a ladder up there, it's gonna, um, uh, it's probably gonna work out for me. Uh, I'm just gonna plop you down right there. It's fine. This is gonna be a temporary thing. So let me just throw everything down in here that I don't really need on me at the moment. Uh, like all of you. Uh, I don't really need the cobble and stuff yet, uh, yet until I start actually upgrading the, the blocks that I need. Uh, all you can go in there. I'm gonna keep you on me though. Uh, the wood can stay on me. Uh, that can go in there as well. Iron can stay. My arrows can stay. Murky water can go in the chest as well. Ooh! That is the sound of a derpo, though. I know that sound for a fact. Uh, all right. Where did you drop your, your goodies? Ooh. Uh-oh. Oh, there you are. Okay. That's not, that's not that far, actually. All right. So, let me go to save waypoint, and let's do X. We'll see scene two, I believe, because I think that's the second one. Uh, and I think you're right around, like, here, maybe? Let me go ahead here and see number two. All right, perfect. So, we'll we'll get that as, at some point in time. Uh, I love how I'm inside of this uh, dude's dance break dance. So, we're in a nightclub, which is kind of cool. Uh, but it is raining, and I don't want to be out in the rain uh, any longer than I need to be. Uh, but, yeah. So, maybe... Hmm. See? Okay. So, if I get rid of that, that's going to lead that block to be right there. Okay. That makes a little sense. So if I take this, and I want to be, what, three? So one, two, three. And if I rotate you... Oh, God, I just had it. All right, if I rotate you to like that, and I go like this, and I go all the way over, so you're going to be... I just want to find out where the, the last block will stand. So you're actually still good. You're saying that it might still collapse? Um, okay, you know what? We'll leave it there. We go here, we'll do copy the block. So copy shape and copy the rotation. No, 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 copy the rotation. No, no. Well, actually, uh, yeah, 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 copy rotation. Where's the rotation? No, where's the right block? There it is, copy rotation. <laughs> so yeah, if I do this and I may bring you all the way over here until you turn yellow. So just about there. And I put you to, let's go ahead and copy the block again. If I go like this, if I make you... Oh, God, you, you'll fall. Okay, so you're going to actually fall if I put a block there. So, if I... Ooh. Yeah, that's that's where I want it. So if I do this, and I... Oh, no, no. One block over. There we go. So, if I do this, uh, you're going to uh, you're gonna collapse if I put you there. So, now you won't collapse. If I can take rid of you, you're fine. There we go. If I do this, and you're still fine. Heck, Yeah. Okay, this is just a test, honestly. To, to, to be fair, this is just going to be a test. I don't know if the zombies are actually going to see this as a viable uh, method to get to me. But it's all about it's all about uh, testing things out, I think. Hmm, maybe... I, uh, I think these actually might be too thin, I think. What if I actually just use regular ramps? I feel like the zombies should use that as a... As a path, and I know that for... Uh, 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 Alright, I don't know that for a fact, but... I'm, I feel more confident with that block. Should we try it? I mean, we could. We could might as well uh, uh, try it. So let's actually, let me go ahead and copy the rotation of this. Uh, is that going to work? Or no, I probably have to copy the rotation of the, of the other block. All right. So actually, let me go ahead and do advanced rotation. And let me change you. All right, so that one will work for that, maybe? 
So if I pick you up, you're not gonna fall, right? If I take that, nice. Okay, you're not gonna fall, except I just ruined my rotation. Uh, come on, where's the one that I want? Is it that one? Is there any like better ramps that I could I could choose from? Ooh, what if I use you? Ooh, you look kind of neat. So if I go like, uh, if I go to advanced rotation, and I put you on the face of which which ones? What's the one that I want? Kind of the opposite. There we go. So if I use that one. That one actually might be a little bit better. Because that I'll know that the zombies will will track through that. And if I hit them down, they're still going to use that as a viable a vile place to to walk, right? I, I have more confidence with that one than I do the regular ramps, I think. So if I take you... Nope, that's not what I want. I need to rotate you around, though. Uh, What's the right rotation there? Not that one. There we go. If I take you and I put you alongside like that. So actually, let me get rid of all of these. Because you shouldn't collapse. From what, I, from what I've seen, you shouldn't collapse. This will actually tell me. So if I put you down like that. So you're fine because you're supported by that block. Okay. This, we're, we are, we are getting somewhere here. So if I go to copy, no, no, no. Copy shape. Where's the shape? Copy the shape. And I put you like this on either side. Just like that. I'm going to leave it hollow for now because I can always just go in inside and fill it uh, fill it from there. Uh, if I go to... No, that's the wrong button. So now if I go to stairs, like this one, and I go like this... Uh, oh, God, this is going to be... This is going to be kind of annoying, but that's fine. If I go to copy shape, go like that. I uh, go to... Let's see, shapes again. I can go here. There we go. And now I should just be able to do copy shape on all of them. So copy shape. You should go there. Uh, let me go like this. Nope. All right, one more time. So if I do that, the zombies should use this as a ramp and then go alongside this and, and get to me. I actually like that a whole lot, actually. Um, all right, you know what? Let me, let me try to find a zombie and see if that works. All right, we have a couple of zombies over here. So let me go ahead and grab you really quickly. Hello, zombie. How are you? Uh, how are you, son? Can you come up? Oh, you're a feral. Um, all right, you're a feral. I don't really want to deal with a feral speed, so I'll put you down. Uh, but there's another, there's another one over here. All right, Stefan, it's your time to shine, buddy. All right, bud, I need to let, I need to know if you're gonna use this as a viable place to to get to me. So if I climb up here, you should use the staircase, right? You should go around. Ooh. Okay, that might be a little bit of an issue. Okay, I might have to support. Can you stop being dumb? Why are you so dumb? I need you to climb up here. Ow. All right, come on. Come on the stairs. Let me help you up. So I know for a fact you'll get up there. There we go. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Come up here. Thank you. And if I go over here, are you going to use these as a viable place to, to try to get to me? You are. Okay. So again, if I hit you down... No, I need you to go down. No, I didn't mean to kill you. Uh, okay. So we have a few things to kind of fix up, I think. Um, the zombies are going to use this. They're going to they're gonna try to bat this down, I think. Which, this is like a, a, a main structure. Like, that's what's holding up the majority of this building. I think, I think that's what we're, we're going to, we're going to go with, though. Because maybe, maybe Stefan is just a dumb zombie and just has no idea what he's doing. So, I'm actually just going to go ahead and, and just keep going with my plan. Because if it doesn't work and we die, so be it. It's fine. We, 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 we can continue in a new series. <laughs> but if it works, this could be a good thing for me. All right, honestly, that looks kind of intimidating, to be honest. <laughs> um, okay, can I actually get rid of these these here? What are you, you're probably iron, right? Yeah, okay. So, let me go ahead and actually take care of you. Just in case you... Uh, you mess up the, the the zombies tracking a little bit. So let me go ahead and get rid of you. Um, all right. Also, let me pick up you. There we go. So if zombies come up here, so this one actually isn't too bad. I feel like this one is a lot worse. Those zombies should just run right past that and, and get up nice and easy. I, I feel like that 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 should work. I shouldn't have I shouldn't run into any issues there. So if I wanted to double up on the stairs here, I am going to have to put blocks here. So if I do that and put this all the way down. 
just like that and go like this. I'm eventually going to fill that up uh, with, uh, with blocks eventually. But if I go like that and I go to copy shape, uh, copy shape and then copy rotation. And I go like this. So this shouldn't collapse, I feel like. I feel like this should be fine. So that makes sure that makes sure that the zombies uh have a nice clear path and they won't get uh stuck on, on top of each other. So let me go ahead and copy shape and copy rotation. And then continue with no 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 copy rotation. There we go. Copy the rotation. I go up uh alongside like this. Just like that. That should be okay. And then down here, I feel like I should get rid of all of these. I feel like I'm just too close to the wall there. I want to get rid of this, but this is going to take me forever to, uh, to take away. Um, okay. That should be fine. If I go like that, that shouldn't be a problem for the zombies to get up. And that should go straight up. So here, zombies shouldn't get stuck here. They should figure it out uh, to go straight up there. If I take this and I go like that, that should be a nice, easy, a nice, easy stair for them. All right. Actually, you know what? If I take away this, and this should slim it up just a little bit. So if I go here... Uh, and I go to copy shape again. This should... If I change this block here to a one of these. There we go. That actually fixes it a little bit. So if I go here and I go back to copy shape. Uh, oops, sorry, wrong block. If I go here to copy shape. And I rotate you like that. There we go. Okay. And there they're going to get stuck. They're not... Oh, God. No, they, they will get stuck there. Um. Okay. Ooh, actually, if I do... Oh. Whoops. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Let me go back to shapes. Uh, oh, actually, no. I can just do this. I can go here. Copy shape. There we go. Plop you back down. Copy shape again. Just like that. And if I go like that, that's actually a little bit better, to be honest. Okay. And then I go like... Oh, nope. God dang it. Uh, I, I suck at building in this game. If I go like this and I go to shapes again, get the corner. And if I do something like that, maybe... Oh, God, it's one off. Honestly, I like that a little bit better. Obviously, it would be better if it was here. Uh, so if they go here and they come up... Say they come up from the stage, they can go here and then get up easily like that. Okay. Uh, I like that a little bit, actually. Uh, if I go here, copy the shape, and I put this block back, is that going to disturb the... Is that going to disturb the thing? Uh, let me go here, copy rotation... No, I'm afraid zombies will get stuck here, but even if they hold forward, they get kind of pushed away. Uh, no, I kind of don't like this, honestly. I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to do regular blocks. Ah, god damn it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, if I just do, if I go here, go to shapes. Uh, oops, sorry. If I go here and I go to get rid of the stairs here, get the block. What if I just do... What if I just do that? Or maybe if I just extend this by one, it kind of negates that spot there. Ooh, okay. Okay, so if I get rid of this block here and I extend these out by one more. So if I take these and I go to... Nope, didn't, didn't mean to do that. I, I, I misclicked the button. Uh, click that, copy rotation, and I extend these out by one more. Like that, and I get rid of these. So these will give me a little bit more blocks back. Thank you. All right, just like that. Give me these back. This will also push uh, one block away from the pillar here, which is which is better. Which is I'm a little bit more worried about is the is the structural pillars here. Um, and then I can get rid of all of these. So give me back all of you. And then I make the stairs from here on. I think. I think that actually might be a little bit better if I do this instead. Go like this, put all the stairs back, uh, go here, copy the block, and then put this here, like that. I think that is actually a little bit, I think that's actually better. I know it's getting kind of late, but I, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretty much work through the night, I think. And then from here, I believe, if I do, if I go back to shapes, and I retype my stairs, uh, let me turn it off of basic, and do that, that, I think there is good. I think that is actually a, a pretty good thing. I like that. Okay, you know what? I, I'm a lot more confident now. There we go. I like that a lot better, actually. Okay. Uh, ooh, I got to place down this block here. I got to get a regular stairs, actually. So I'm going to go back to stairs. There we go. And place that there. Nice. Okay, I like that a lot better. Uh, and then if I go here, I go to copy shape. And I go like this. 
uh, instead, if I had to make these kind of angular, I think that should negate the whole, uh, the whole getting stuck here part. Yeah, there we go. So they come up here, they're going to go like here. And then even if they come here and they get stuck, they're just going to jump up and then continue their pathing. Unfortunately, what are you? Are you concrete as well? Dang. Okay. You are concrete. Uh, I was going to say, cause there is a little bit of a gap here, but that shouldn't be an, uh, a problem until I can get, uh, something stronger to actually tear down this concrete without, you know, spending half the day uh that should be that shouldn't take that should that, that shouldn't cause a, cause an issue I, I think and you know what i was gonna keep these for for later uh game stage but if this is where my horde base is gonna be i don't want these to get destroyed by the zombies so i'm just gonna go ahead and loot them now all right so with that out of the way let me go ahead and loot these up real quick just uh a little gun part and some ammo a useless blood bag um ooh, an an arrow rest mod schematic okay that's neat. I'll take that. I can sell you to the trader. Uh, that's already looted. And pretty much all we have left is the hardened chest here. So uh, let me go ahead and actually get rid of these. There we go. Um, do I have my lockpicking candy? I don't. But I do have nine lockpicks. So let's go ahead and just try to get into this. Are we going to get it on, on first crack? Okay. Uh, <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, ooh. Yes. Bloody please. Thank you. All right, cool. If we can learn that, that's going to be really good for this base, I think. That's going to be really good for this base. Heck yeah, dude. All right, so it is nighttime. So we are going to be a little bit more careful. Um, Actually, what if we... What if we made this kind of like a, a little triangle, like a diamond kind of, to kind of keep the zombies from uh, getting stuck here? So if I take these and I go to advanced rotation and make you kind of like the diamond that I want... Uh, come on. Be on the spot that I... No, I just had it. Damn it. So if I do this all the way up, at least to there, uh, and then rotate it back to the opposite. Oh, hi. Oh, I didn't even see that puppy. Can I... Is that glass? Oh, it was glass. All right. Can I actually get you, uh, shoot you through here, though? Nice. All right. That worked out in my favor quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Oh god. All right, let me open let me open that door actually. Let them come in. And I actually want to see if this base works. They should come in here nice and easily actually. Oh god. All right, here they go. Yep, yeah, they're, they're nicely uh going through the way I want them to. You know what? I think this base is going to work wonders. What the fuck are you? What are you? Oh my, what are you? What the hell is that? Oh, um, whatever it is, it's very jiggly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I didn't see you coming through. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ooh, all right, that's fine. <laughs> actually, the horde base is actually working very well, actually. I'm actually pretty uh, confident in this. There we go. Nicely done. Just come right over and let me bonk you down. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you, you got bonked down very easily. All right, can you come back up here, bud? Can you, uh, can you come back up here? What are you doing? Uh, are you, are you into, uh, destroy everything mode? I think you are. Oh, God, I fell down on your level. Oh, we're fine, though. We're totally fine. All right, so you're gonna, you're gonna do the thing that I want you to do? Nice. Okay. That's actually awesome. Yes. Keep, keep coming this way. There you go. And then let me just bonk you down. You go all goopy, and you fall right in the center there. So, with this design as well, what I could do is I could put a big pit down there. I could put a big, uh, a big drop, uh, it's called a drop shoot, uh, and I can just throw kind of my grenades down there as well, and they'll all explode. So I think, I'm actually kind of excited about this base, to be honest. One, it looks really cool, and two, it actually performs well. What I'm a little bit worried, though, is these... Hi. A little bit worried with that. Not sure where he's coming from. Uh, but like I said, I'm a little bit worried with just, like, the access that the zombies do have, so... I need to find a way to kind of get rid of this section here. Oh, it's a spider boy. It's a spider boy. All right, can you come over here and jump, bud? Here you are. Come on. Oh, God. I hate you. Oh, I hate you. Just freaking look at that face. How could you like that face? All right, so I put that there just so the zombies don't get stuck in the corner and they'll get kind of pushed up like that on that side at least. So that should, that should be fine. I should probably do the same on... This side as well. Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of that trash can, but uh, but that's fine. 
This pillar shouldn't be in the way. The zombies should just run right past that. Uh, even if that does fall, I don't think that's going to be uh, an issue with the design that I need. Uh, even then, if that pillar goes out, this actually might collapse this little... Uh, oh, no, it would collapse the roof, and that wouldn't be good. But I feel like this structure here should be fine uh, with the supports that it has on either side here. So as long as those pillars are, uh, stay up, those shouldn't be too much of an issue. I do need a copy of the stairs on this side, though, so that's going to take me probably a little bit. So that should be the same on either side. Okay. I'm uh, I'm actually happy with that, actually. Uh, no, because that'll mess up that side, wouldn't it? Um... No, I don't know. What if I actually got rid of this section here? And I just did that. So this will hopefully just let the zombies kind of do their thing here. So if I actually... Ooh. Actually, you know what? If I do this, if I do... If I go back to shapes, and I go back to ramps, right? I go here. And I rotate them so... Let me actually do advanced rotation. Like that. That should be fine, I think. That way the zombies come here, they get pushed, and they come up here. Honestly, I think that's actually a little bit better. Again, I wish this this block here was, uh, wasn't like a half sheet. But uh, I don't think it's going to be... I, I think it should be fine, I think. Yeah, just like that. That actually looks really cool, actually. So one, the base looks cool. And two, it performs quite well. At least with the zombies that I tested it on. Um, so hopefully this actually does work out in my favor. Just... Again, this structure here works, but I don't know if the structure, like the stairs being there, are, is gonna is gonna cause any issues. So I don't know. And having this, like this as well. Gosh, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna have to take out all the stairs at least. Uh, are you concrete? Actually, you are concrete. Okay, so you're five thousand. You're five thousand. Dang it. Okay, that's gonna that's gonna cause me uh, a lot of work to do actually. So as long as, honestly, I think that I should be fine. If I block that up with blocks at least, um, I should be okay. None of the zombies actually took that route to get to me yet. So I don't know. Um, I guess we're going to find out on Horde Night. It's just, it's just inevitable at this point, I think. But yeah, I think this is just the bones of the Horde base, I think. I know I'm going to have to upgrade a few of the blocks. But I am going to have to leave this episode here, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely leave a like down below because it really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.